Good morning, everybody. Welcome back on this Friday. I hope everybody's doing great. Everybody excited for the weekend? Just uh, see how everybody's doing, everyone. Good to see you all. Grant, good to see you. Keith, Andrea, Kathleen, Wayne, everyone. All right, good. Good to see you all. Welcome back, Cyber Traders. All right, so uh, listen, for all those great haters out there, just keep shorting the market. Just keep shorting. Keep shorting. What did I, you know what? I got to admit, I, I'm definitely going to be wrong on this one. I, I, I don't really admit too many times I'm wrong, but I think I'm wrong. But I think we're going to probably hit 35,000 in the Dow. You know, I mean, this is just unbelievable. Remember what I told you? And, and being a good day trader is very important because yesterday, actually, I was in, uh, we did an on-site uh, free event here on, uh, in New York. And the audience was just fabulous. Beautiful people there. And, uh, and you know what's so funny? Everyone was just like you. You know, uh, retirees, business owners, everything, and you know, and, and they were like, you know, they, they were that was like their biggest concern and about where the market's going and what do you think, Fausto? And I, and I told him, I said, listen, everyone, you know, for all those haters out there, short it because as a day trader, what we've learned when you break all time highs, you know what? There's nothing that will resist it, and you're gonna might have a short squeeze. You might have a short squeeze. I hope we won't have a short squeeze because I don't want the market to go too fast not really healthy we know how how that always turns out but uh go ahead short the market go short it knock yourself out you know what i mean <laughs> you gotta love it you know it's you got you gotta you gotta love it uh and by the way um i wanted to kind of talk about the the csq really quick now some of you remember i talked about this stock a long long time ago years i've been talking about this one so just really quick i don't know if you guys have poked your head on csq but this is that this is that um, that mutual fund that pays you every single month, every month. Uh, it pays you over eight and a half percent interest every uh, you know, and it pays you on the month, not on the year. And the stock has just been doing phenomenal with the market. So you know, I don't know if you guys jumped in. I mean, listen, I went, I, I bought a ton of it when we had the crash last year. It dropped all the way down to like nine dollars, but fourteen bucks. You know, talking about almost a double right there on that stock and you make an interest on it. Nice, nice one. But um, listen, one thing you learn and that we teach you, as you learn being a part of cyber trade university is that, you know, we're all gonna swing trade, we're all gonna do options and we're all gonna day trade, keep things separate. And you know, you gotta, you, you, you gotta know what you can mix and what you don't mix. So, um, but so far we're having a really, really fun, fun market. I'll tell you, I was, uh, you know, the, where was I on two, on Wednesday, uh, I was in New York City, and when you saw me on NASDAQ, on the NASDAQ station, uh, you know, I, I, took my, I took my wife out. Uh, she came with me, and uh, we went to go see a show, which, by the way, funny show. If you guys ever, live in New York, uh, ever come to New York, I definitely recommend the show. Uh, what was it? Uh, the Book of the Mormons. What a hysterical show, by the way. It's been around for a while. But you know what? Got nice tickets, sat there, because we did good that morning on trading. This is what, this is what you live for, all right? So, uh, and a really nice dinner too, by the way. Anyway, let's talk about what happened on yesterday because, listen, for all those haters out there, let's see what's happening. AMD, breaking all-time highs. You know what? That stock was just in October. It was at 30. It's almost at 40. We talked about this stock. It's, it, it wasn't the greatest day trade. You know, you know, we know how volatile it can get, and we know it's a little bit more of a brand name. It's a little more expensive, not really up our alley. But I do want to point out that, that, you know, one of the stocks that has been a really good swing trade. Pinterest also, a little bit more of a brand name, but Pinterest, another thing. We talked about this one, great swing trade. Why? It's a gap fill. Once it filled in that gap right there, you, know, you can see this, you know, when we saw the stock, once it broke that 21, look where it is now. It's up to 24. So a little bit of a brand name also. Another one, Snapchat. Well, everyone like is worried about missing all these expensive stocks these facebook's these apples the teslas well listen snapchat also doing pretty well today gap it up look at that 14 dollars to 18. you know what this has been a lot of good swing trades uh with a with the, some brand names out there so don't think like you missed the boat on some expensive ones want to live in your budget you know here's some of them now regarding about what we traded yesterday a couple other ones i do want to point out uh listen just because the market was up doesn't mean you could you can't short did really well on the short on the SDC, right? Why? Stock was at 8, went to 14. Some people really couldn't get the short because it wasn't on everyone's short list, but that one did really well on the short. 
SIG, this was probably awesome. This was one of probably the best ones yesterday in pre-market, hands down. And, you know, when I did my event yesterday, you know, it, you know what shocks me? That there are people still today that don't know that you could trade in pre-market. They don't know that, that how to do it. Um, and we all know how we do it here. I've been doing it for a while and you know, we're doing it forever, actually, what I'm talking about. And everybody's like, wait, you're done before the market opens? How is that even possible? Well, when you come in the trading room, you'll see. But here's one of them, the SIG, awesome, 23, 31. Come on, guys, could you get any better than that? Phenomenal, phenomenal stock. That was probably the best one, um, the, the best one in the morning. I mean, I was pretty much done just on that one. Uh, afternoon, what we traded. So if you missed the morning, you always had the afternoon. So this one still doing, still a little strong right there. JIA. I don't know where this came from, but right here at 2:30, the thing just went from like 6:50, ran shot up all the way to eight. You know, did a little bit of shake, did its uh, thing, or did its thing around the 3:30, and boom, the thing popped even went. I mean, you can still make 50 cents on that one. She, you, know, you can see those, uh, those, those bars. It did get a little volatile. It wasn't your Listen, don't let this $8 stock fool you. I mean, it was trading in within 10 to 15-minute intervals. So that was a little bit on the scary side. And the TIGR, Tiger, let's bring up that one. That one was a little bit easier to trade. You could see that right there. Boom, stock went from 360. Did not even want to look back. Shot all the way up to right around 4, 425. Great winner right there. Listen, 1,000 shares, you know, two hours, 750. I'll take that all day. All right, so anyway, and like I always say, that's the past. Let's focus on what's going on this morning. So I did touch upon some of the, the, the little bit of a brand name stocks, the swing trades, um, but we do have a couple of other ones that had just made the radar. I know some of you already been trading them this morning. We'll start off with this one that's up 55% right now. IMBI came up on my watch list. You could see it. It's the biggest percentage gainer as of right now on the in the stock market. Stock, you can see it went from seven down to three. She's up to about five right now. She, she had a little bit of a nice pop around 7 a.m. Uh, and then she had this big reversal. Got me a little nervous right there. But if you look over there on the on the uh, on the total view, if you look on the on the right, the level three, you could see you got some great orders. I'm not really seeing any iceberg orders out there, but you know that's probably why it's kind of stagnant right now. But it's definitely going to make our watch list the best one so far. That all of you guys been doing great on this morning is this one right here. This one is unbelievable. S N C A. Look at that. It came in at eight o'clock this morning. How cheap could you make could you buy a stock? I don't know. Dollar thirty-five. Thing already ran to a dollar eighty. Thing was running. You guys killed it on this one right here. Uh, I'm looking at a four-minute chart right there. Look, look how you had plenty of time to jump in. And it just, I don't know, all of a sudden, the thing just popped right there at a buck fifty or in a buck eighty. Listen, you made thirty cents right now on a thousand shares. I mean, I mean, I don't know how many shares some of you. I mean, we have traders in here who trade five thousand, ten thousand shares. But hell, just not even a thousand shares to start the morning and being up already thirty cents is awesome. Now, is the party over? No, the market didn't even open up yet. But you know what? It's pretty damn strong, and I'm definitely gonna keep a very close eye on that one. Okay, let's talk about some China stocks. What about Neo? Neo, listen, Neo. What gets me about freaks me out about Neo? It trades so many shares, Neo, and uh, you could trade a lot of shares of it. And I think that's the reason why it doesn't really. It's not up as much as it should. Remember, this is I call Tesla's a uh, uh, copycat Tesla of China. You know, this electric cars. We remember this company went public, but um, she's been pretty damn strong since October, buck fifty. She's at 450. I mean, we're talking almost 300%. You know, we all know about the China deal, right? All right, anyone against the China deal? You know what? Who the hell cares? All right, I don't care if you're for it, against it. You know, whatever your beliefs are. At the end of the day, okay. <laughs> you know, look at this one. You know, like uh, this is a copycat. You know, something funny. A China always copies everything America does. Um, but here's a copycat of Starbucks. 20. To almost 50, and she's still strong. Okay, I was a we were a big fan of this one. I'm a little ticked off at myself that I sold the stock a little too soon. I got a little, you know, um, I, I, I knew I, I wanted to hold this stock, and actually, I got tied up in some other position. So, but anyway, I know some of you uh, were day trading it, but not only been a good day trade, it's been a really good swing trade. What else do we have? I think I got one more. 
that I found in pre-market. It was a JMIA, that one right there. Yeah, she, she, she was moving pretty nicely. You could see the stock was a $28 stock. She's up a little bit nicely. Um, she did back off from 8 o'clock from 8.80 down to 8 bucks. It's a pretty, that's a pretty substantial drop in pre-market. So I don't know if she's as, as tradable as I probably would think, but um, I'll be a little cautious on that one. But we got a really good list. Listen, it is Friday, okay? Now, does everybody remember um, what's coming up? Everybody remember what's coming up on Monday? It's a three-day weekend, right? Thank God. Thank Deb. Deb. Yo, so remember, just be very careful of daylight today. Uh, a lot of people are going to be going on vacation. And I don't know, I mean, usually more days like this, the market's really not that volatile. But I guess with this whole new China deal, uh, it, with the USMCA deal, I mean, you, I mean, America's winning left and right with all these new deals. A lot of new companies coming back. Job growth is at the lowest ever. And this is where you make your money. Remember, all these companies are all, you know, are all, um, this is what drives the market, okay? And that's what you got to focus on. So keep an eye on these stocks. Be careful on, just be careful on a day like today. I'm just looking at the Dow, you know, we're up around 82 right now. Just be careful on, just be careful on today with the three-day weekend. But we will be open on Monday. So um, we got a lot of events that are coming up. You know that I'm going to be on Wealth365. There's a, that's a, they're going to have 90 presenters that are going to be there. So, um, you know, it's going to be a fun event when that comes up. So a lot going on. And uh, just uh, if you see something, say something to market. Just don't get too cocky today. So far, we're having a pretty good month. All right, guys. Uh, oh, yeah. So Ken says, look at Save. Yeah, you know, a lot of the airline stocks are doing pretty good. I was also looking at Delta, too. They're all, uh, you could see it. This one obviously took a little bit of a hit. But Delta, I was a big fan of. Um, I, not because I love flying with them. You know, but a lot of the airlines are also doing good. So, you know, if they start saying, you know, listen, when people make money, what do they do? They spend it. What is the biggest thing they like to spend it on? Travel. You know what's amazing? I'm not, I just want to, I just want to uh, just bring up one, one thing. Um, I was actually, I'm, I'm going to be going away in, in February. And I'll tell you, I don't know what the hell's happened with these hotels. Okay. But a hotel that I would probably pay. Three four hundred dollars to stay at. I just went. I went this week to go check out and see what my February break with the kids would be. They're already, they're charging over a thousand dollars for the same room. I'm like, talking. Is that inflation or is that called a demand? You know. I mean, like, you go from a three to four hundred dollar room now it's a thousand dollars a night. I mean, listen. God bless you if you can get it and someone's willing to pay for it. I guess everybody's making a lot of money and they want to do it. So, you know, they're talking about uh, capitalism at its best, right? So, uh, school vacancy price, it absolutely, went. I totally agree with that. So, uh, I, uh, you know, Ed, I don't think Trav uh, Travago could even help you with that one. <laughs> Listen, just make money and enjoy it. That's what it is. Trickle down that economics money to everyone else. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. We'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. We'll start commentary in about... Less than 15 minutes when the market opens up. All right. If I don't see you, enjoy your three-day weekend.